Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to get from a three-legged dog into low lunge or high lunge. Now, this is a transition that is often done in a vinyasa class, so we'll go through a few different ways to help that and to make that happen. If you're into yoga and you want to learn more about yoga, please take this moment to click to subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell. Awesome! Now that that's done, let's begin our practice. Okay. So we're going to start in our downward facing dog, getting your hands nice and secure on the mat about shoulder width apart, tuck those toes and press the hips up and back. So to move through our three legged dog into a low lunge or high lunge, we're going to inhale one leg up in the air first, keeping the hips square, leg is nice and long. As you exhale, curl the spine, pulling the thigh in towards the chest, and then as you shift your weight forward, the foot steps between the hands. From here, you can either stay in high lunge or lower down the knee for low lunge, depending on where you're going and what is happening next. So that's the full version of it, but let's talk through how to get into that into the first place if you're not sure how all of these parts move together. So a nice way to ease into it is to come onto hands and knees. Working through a little bit on a lower level does help once you get the hips up in the air. So taking one leg and extending it back behind you, keeping the spine long. On your exhale, curl the spine, moving into a cat position in the back, but pull the thigh in towards your chest. Notice here too that I'm pointing my foot. It's not flexed anymore. So when it's extend, extend, extended back, the heel is flexed, the toes are pulling. This ensures that the back of my leg is straight and powerful. As you exhale and bend it, then the foot points and this creates space. So that way the toes don't get stuck as you drag it through. All right, so extending the leg, flexing the foot. As you exhale, curl the spine, pull the thigh in towards the chest. Let the crown of the head melt down as well. As you inhale, extend both the leg and the spine. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, extending. Each time you do this, try to make more space in the front of your body. Pressing down through the arms. <clears throat> Inhale, extending. Exhale, and curling. Now on this one, let's try to step the foot through. Now, if it didn't come all the way, like mine did not come all the way, use your hand on your ankle and carry it forward. From there, shift your weight and come into your low lunge. If you're going into high lunge, all you need to do is tuck the toe and lift the knee, and there you are. So let's transition ourselves back. Doing both legs is important. Make sure we're balanced. So inhale that second leg up and back, flexing the foot, pulling the toes back. Exhale, curl the spine, pull the thigh towards the chest, let the crown of the head melt down. Inhale, extending through the spine and the leg. Exhale, curl, bringing the spine into cat pose while the thigh comes closer to your nose. Inhale, extending the spine and the leg. Exhale, curl, this time step the foot through. If it doesn't make it, use your hand on the ankle, carry it forward, and shift into your low lunge or high lunge. Yeah. So <clears throat> you may need to do that a few times to get the core work used to it, to open up the spine. And this can be done on your own time before you go into a class or before you take a class online. Yeah, maybe you want to take a vinyasa class of mine once we're through with this. But <clears throat> once that's a little bit more comfortable, then you can take it up to downward facing dog and plank. So we're just doing the same exercise, but on this higher level. So inhaling one leg up and back. As you exhale, curl the spine, pull the thigh to your chest, but shift your weight forward. So now my shoulders are coming over my wrists. Press it back, inhale up and back, three-legged dog, extending the leg and the spine. Exhale, curl, pulling it in, creating space underneath you. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl the spine, pull the thigh to the chest, and step the foot. Now, doesn't make it, same thing. Grab the ankle, carry it forward, high lunge or low lunge. All right. Let's take the second side, stepping back. Inhaling the second leg up and back. Exhale, curl the spine, pull the thigh into your chest, and shift your weight forward. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, thigh comes to the chest, shifting forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, stepping the foot through. Help it with your hand if you need. High lunge or low lunge. Ta-da! All right, so <clears throat> once that gets more fluid, once you're more comfortable with that, then the foot can float all the way to the top of the mat. Inhaling up and back. Exhaling, curling the spine. 
stepping the foot through. Right. This takes time. <clears throat> it's taken me a long time to do it, so don't get discouraged. Keep yourself practicing. Flowing front and back. Inhaling as the leg comes up. Exhale, curl the spine, thigh to your chest, step it through. Stepping back. Inhale the opposite leg up and back. Exhale, thigh to the chest, step it through. Yeah? So if you practice that all on its own, once you move into a full vinyasa class, that transition should become easier and easier. So I hope this helps. <clears throat> If you have any questions, any comments, or you just want to give a little shout out, please comment below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, it's okay. Give it a thumbs down. It's all good as long as we're communicating so I know what works. If you did like this video, please click to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you get notifications in your inbox when I release new videos. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. See you next time.